It was an analogy I threw out, like, a relationship is the cake. Mm. So it's not really ready until it's finished, pulled out the oven, cooled, and ice it. Then we are ready to partake of the cake. I said, but so many people, before the cake's ready, want to take part of the batter. The relationship's not ready. The other person is not developed yet. They're, they're still immature, but we said, oh, but they're good enough so I can partake now. She said, that's me, oh God. That's me, we'll look over here. So then, then it was like, oh, but some people say, well, they just got saved, God, like last Sunday on Easter. <laughs> so surely they're ready for me to date. They're still just got put out on the shelf. That's not a cake. That's a box of cake mix. <laughs> you gotta give it time to grow. And so here's my here's the thing. Can you partake of mix? Sure. But you never know what cake tastes like. Mm. Watch this. It might be good now, but you eat, you eat too much mix. You get stomach aches. Because it's not finished. It's not brought to maturity. It's not the finished product. It's not God's best. So you can have it all day. Just know it's not the best you can have. You have to be willing to, what we talked about three, four weeks ago, be patient and wait. Because watch this, you could be eating the mix because you're stuck in the mixing bowl. What about the cake you were supposed to be? You never took time to get in the oven to wait so that you could rise and be dressed by the king because you were satisfied with being the scraps in the bowl. And God says that's not the best that he wants for us. He wants so much more for us, but we got to be willing to say, I'll wait, God. You know what? And this is how I know you're close to the oven. Because you be like, God, I'm going to wait. When your cake gets in the oven, it's hot. It hurts if that was really us getting in the oven. So you're like, God, I really love this girl. Oh, she's just perfect. And God says, wait. But God, I love her. I want it. And he said, but if you want to wait, if you want to endure this burning sensation right now, you will get to enjoy cake for the rest of your life. Instead of stealing a cake crumb or a lick of the bowl or a crack of an egg before it's time. Song of Solomon says, do not awaken love before it's time. Which tells us way back then, the wisest man that ever lived that had too many women that ran him crazy. He said, let it bake in the oven and wait. If you want best. I'm going to say it like this. And this is up for you and God. It's not his best. And every time you're willing to compromise partaking in that, my question is, pull the mirror out. If I'm compromising to partake in that, then what am I compromising and keeping myself from becoming? Because I can't be God's cake if I'm stuck dipping in someone else's bowl. Because every time you reach the bowl, you know where you're not? You're not in the oven. Every time you're mixing with the wrong crowd, you know where you're not? You're not on God's counter being dressed for what he asked for. So the, again, you can stay there. 1 Corinthians 10, 23, everything is permissible. Everything you have a right to do. But not everything is edifying and building up to you. So yes, you can lick all day. And I'm not even going to stand there and say you can't. Because I know plenty of people that are licking all day long. <laughs> this bowl is good. Mm. I'm enjoying life right here, God, but... They, they never know God's best. And so what happens is they don't know God's best, so they learn to settle for a second and think that's best. And they deceive themselves to, you know, it's like a slow fade, now we're backwards. Instead of a cake, I'll settle for the mixing bowl. Instead of for a mixing bowl, I'll just settle for the sugar because it's sweet. Mm. But you know what? Wait for God's best. Cake is marriage. And this is God's way. People don't like this, but it's God's way. And I'm going to say a point blank period. God made sex for marriage. Why did he do that? People are like, well, the church preached that, but they old school. That, that's just blah. But you know why? Because that was the covenant from between a man and a woman. That was the image of God in the church, Jesus in the church. And there is a special bond that keeps one together when it happens in God's system. So we're like, all right, that's God's best. That's the cake. I don't want to wait. So I want to lick the batter and have some sex now. Is it just that? No, I'm just saying there's an example. Oh. I want some sex now. God said, wait for the cake because it'll be better. He's like, ah, 
I need to test drive the car now, because you know, I don't know, I might, I might feel right. I'm gonna be like that for the rest of my life. <laughs> and you know what, I thought about that too. Like, I've been, I've been really waiting for this, this week with y'all because I realized that, you know, if you didn't, and again, God will forgive you if you already crossed this line and you know, many of y'all have messed up and or might still be messing up. God knows who y'all are. I'm not here to judge y'all. But know this, what happens if you never had sex with anybody? Just, just, just think about it. Finally had sex with your husband or wife when you guys got married. You guys had nothing to compare it to. So how would you know if it's bad or not if you have nothing to compare it to? Uh -huh. But see, now you've tasted, 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 tasted. Now it's time to get to the cake. And you're comparing a cake to the mixing bowl. I'm sorry. But it's like, why are we doing that? Because we started to take part of the mixing bowl. And so when we finally got the cake, we can't even appreciate it because we compared it to something that's lesser. Right. Thinking it's better. Here's another thing. Mixing bowl. The person's not ready for a relationship yet. You're not ready. Thank you. So it's like, okay, I love God, but I don't read my Bible, but I'm ready for a relationship with somebody. No, you're not. If you're a Christian, no, you're not. Let me clarify that. Because your first relationship should be with God. If that's not strong, why are you trying to spend time with someone else? When a relation that matters is so weak. So the glue won't be able to stick because you don't even know what glue is. <laughs> you won't know battery because you don't even know who the battery maker is. So first, as Christians, you're taking out the store. You're taking out of the world and put into God's house. He's putting you, breaking you, molding you, shaping you. That is not the time to start trying to date somebody. Let someone... God, continue to form you, mold you, shape you, make you. So then when you are put in the oven and brought out, now you're ready. If that person comes or not, God has made you whole so that you're not looking for someone to complete you. You're already completed looking for someone else that's complete so that y'all can walk hand in hand to destiny. 